Okay. So um, in this example, now we have two sets of parentheses. So we are all we're simply going to do again in this case is we're going to apply uh, distributive property separately. Um, so here we have inside this parentheses x minus three that's being multiplied by negative two. Here we have two x plus seven is being well it's just being this minus right. So it's very important for us to understand if you guys have a number. Anytime you have a number, remember we said all numbers are have variable factors, right? We can always multiply a number times x to the 0, right? That's how it gets that variable factor. Then we could also always multiply 1 times 5, because 1 times 5 is 5. 5 times x to the 0 is still 5. So we could really, these are not changing my answer to 5, right? They're not, they're not changing anything. It's still 5. It's just a very uncommon uh, way to write 5, though. So. What I want you guys to understand is, if this is just one, like a minus, minus what? It's minus 1 times each one of those. So now when I apply my distributive property, you got to make sure you multiply negative 2 times both terms and negative 1. When doing that, negative 2 times x is negative 2x. Negative 2 times 3 is going to give me a negative 6. Negative 1 times 2x, positive 6, thank you. Negative 1 times uh, negative 2x is, or, ne or 2x is negative 2x. Negative 1 times 7 is a negative 7. So now I have two variable factor, two terms with variables, and then two uh, constants. So again, I combine my like terms. All right. Now I've got again, students are going to make mistakes unless you rewrite it. Again, you don't have to rewrite it, Savannah, but I highly recommend while you're still getting used to this that you rewrite it. So therefore, I'd have negative 2x minus 2x plus 6 minus 7. If you owe $2 and then you borrow two more, negative 2 minus 2 is negative 4x. And 6 minus 7 is going to be negative 1. Okay, That would be your finalized answer.